One fish, two fish, three fish, four. Pina coladas turn me into a whore. That has nothing to do with today's challenge, but is a true statement about me. Modern Warfare Warzone is a battle royale that has received great praise. Many critics say it is perhaps the best battle royale of them all, even beating Fort Ass and Apex Losers. I don't quite understand this rather wrong opinion, however, as I can't seem to have fun playing this game. So today, this will be the Modern Warfare Warzone Challenge. Can you play Warzone and have fun? Now based on statistics I made up for this video, about 75% of 80% of PS4 users say that Warzone reminds them of their Uncle Terry growing up, and as you can imagine, not the best memory to have. So I grabbed the next best thing to an Uncle Terry, and that is my friend Dogfight. Now the first dilemma is there is not a duos playlist, and I only have friend. I don't have friends, plural. And I guess numbers are hard because we have quads and not duos. And 4 divided by 2 is 7, and that means I have green eyes and him, carry the 1, and it just gets confusing from there. So we jumped into a game of trios, knowing we'd have the advantage of friendship, and that's about it. I showed my superior aiming skills, so the others would tremble in fear of my cherry flavor axe body spray. The best tasting one. You are wrong if you disagree. Then we were off to make probably the most important decision of a game. Where are we dropping, boys? Boy. I mean boy. Still only one friend. Let's take a live look at our in-game decision making process where we demonstrate our unique ability to determine the best place to loot in relation to the first circle in the enemy to loot ratio of said drop zone. Battle Royale. Is that a drop point for your team, soldier? You've got gas closing in fast. Get to the safe zone. Um. Can we have fun with the chicken pig? Mick speaketh uppeth? <laughs> Can we have fun with the chicken leg? Farmland? I, I, I agree. <laughs> so we went to farmland. I picked up a weird looking AK-47. I think I forgot to purchase the graphic pack in the store so I could see the gun I was actually picking up. This person said they didn't like Cool Ranch Doritos, and that was my nickname in high school, so I took offense and shot up his fort. Then we got into our first battle, and someone got obliterated. I'll let you determine who. To be honest, I wanted to write something longer in this section, but the battle was just too short. So we entered the gulag. I turned my friend into a peacock because the prettiest ones always win. And that alone, without any help from Dogfight's gun skill or me from above, is why he won. Oh my god. He's going to your left, your right, I mean. You're up next, Got him. I'm, I'm glad I didn't actually fuck up. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am the living embodiment of a peacock. So I always win gunfights that I show I win. So we were back. I made quick work of some bots who didn't know their left from their toes, clearly. Oh, yes. I got a light shield at the point. Then I found a jeep window just lying on the ground. I picked it up and it protected me about as much as a real jeep window would, being that it didn't. Okay, so I'll shoot in his face and Dogfight couldn't go on without me, and so we lost. The next match started much better. I had laser-like accuracy in practice mode. Then before jumping, we took a different approach to this game. Although our decision to go to farmland seemed flawless, there was one flaw. We didn't use the targeting system to point out our foes. We made up for that by targeting everyone, creating a sea of red. Eventually, this is what we would be. So we landed at farmland, looted up, and found our next targets. My accuracy carried over from the warm-up quite smoothly. I'm not a statistician, but I say I hit around stormtrooper percentage of the people, but I killed that wood real goodly. Dogfight eventually went down, and was off to make new friends in the gulag. Hopefully friends that wouldn't push a building full of people by themselves. Again, laser accuracy. It must be the coffee in Adderall. Eventually the wood that I once shot turned against me in that it decided not to protect me, and so I died. In the gulag, I again summoned the power of the peacock, and one and proved that the only thing that matters is what's on the outside. So I came back, did a 360, met a blind person trying their very bestest to do a good read on that box, and I became limp. I also died. I made friends with a planocopter in the next warm up, and Dogfight read an inspirational quote from a fortune cookie to give us the courage to try again. Listen, the strength of your character will bring sincerity. We took that message to heart when deciding our next location. Where are we going, squad leader? Yes. 
We left our most prized possessions behind as tribute, knowing that this would finally be the win we longed for, or quick death as usual. Then I spotted someone dancing in the forest all alone. I thought I could join, but they didn't like me interrupting. After I transferred the power of the peacock to dogfight, we had our third second chance of the day. He made quick work of one person, not missing any bullets. He only missed with the bad bullets. Shortly after, he realized he couldn't win without me as bait, so he died. I tried to warn him, but dogfight's reaction time became that of a Dutch potato. Behind! Oh. Oh. We changed it up and landed at the spot we knew he would be most free, and that was prison didn't go so well. I drew what most resembled my penis on the wall. One, it went back inside my mind because that's the only prison I can't escape. I think Big Bird said that. I learned from my previous mistakes by fighting at a distance. Fuck. 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 Didn't go so well. Duckfight won his gulag with the power of lag and enemy by his side. Did his best worm impression and bought from the dollar menu at McDonald's. And so I was back. We immediately became under fire, so I did the only logical thing at this point in my life. I became a train. A guy with the beep beep thing saw me though, thus proving that no matter what you say about trains, they do in fact have hearts, and you should think about that the next time you watch one of those hilarious derailing videos. I'll spare you most of the details from our next game. If you choose to believe I did not win this battle, that's fair. If you choose to believe I did win this and went on to settle down in a small, humble cottage or dogfight as my pet, that would also probably be fair. But do remember that wrong answers or answers I don't like mean you're wrong and I'm right and I won't take that wrong for an answer. G got it? Anyways, we did Everyone both die. Knows that I'm a and I'm dead before you know it! The next game made me question what the meaning of all this was. Would I ever have fun on this game? Would I order a number seven with cheese and an extra large drink? Hard hitting questions indeed. I have been the first person to die. He beat me. He beat me! Anyways, Dogfight ended up reviving me, and only one thing stood between us and victory at this point, and that was the gas. So I risked life and death to get a loadout, and I fucked that up too. Going this way. Okay, on the way. My way, my. Now with a loadout and nothing on our way to victory, we set out, painted some trees, then something amazing happened. I did the something that I see on the the TV of the sum of the time, and I limped the guy, real dead right there. Basically, I killed him and was surprised. You get the gist. Painted another tree, since that's clearly the only reason why I was able to win that gunfight. I decided math was too hard, but math was just right. It was at this moment of contemplation and constipation, I realized I should use that UAV I bought. <laughs> Let me know if I should pop behind us. And this is why we cut down trees. I must have forgotten to buy the better good bullets from the store since my shotgun couldn't one-shot this person in warm-up, but they could. Dogfight and I had a touching conversation. Oh. Do I bore you? Battle Royale. Yes. Not good! See, this is why we're friends. Nay. Best friends. Nay, nay. nay. I'm a horse. Yes. Friends forever. <laughs> Let's go to the place that I'm not allowed anymore. Park. The park. <laughs> I can't go to parks because I have a phobia of slides. Pulling your pants down at Arby's doesn't count. Then I made a great tactical decision. Okay. I'm not going that way either. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to land here. I didn't mean to land here. Oh Ended the life of the wife that was threatened by the knife. Oh. Someone rudely interrupted me trying to draw my penis again, and I made them pay with a swift bullet to the knee, or face, or yes. We made our way through the city where I think I found the fun place where everyone lives in harmony as many people were calmly sleeping on the ground. They abandoned all material objects and left all of their fortunes to those in need. 
There could be no other explanation for what all this was. So I thanked these gods in the only way I knew how. By stepping over their sleeping bodies and looting everything around. Dogfight was a need, so I generously gave what I could. Is there bounty? Do any rockets? I probably do. I probably do. Hold up. Hold on. Bounty target is up. Let's get it done. Four. Come here. Come here. Come here. To me. To me. To me. To me. Tomato. 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 Water. I found a thingy. All right. I'm gonna drop this first try. Oops. I don't have any. Okay. Then I learned of the real reason all of those people were sleeping back there. The gods, once again, have betrayed me. I blame Dogfight. He's the flawless strategy in the gulag. Watch Dogfight make mince meat. And after a long day of working, Dogfight did the thing he always talks about. Taking explosions to the face. I assume he's talking about RPGs, but one can never tell. I thought he was talking about cum. Oh, oh my god! What? Let's go to Super Daddy! Why y'all over there? I said I was going to the stupid town. I heard Super Shore or Super Daddy. Dogfight clearly misunderstood me when I said Super Daddy. Clearly, I meant Storage Town, but he went to Super Store. I don't understand how that gets mixed up. It's like how people tell you to stop shitting on the top part of the toilet when what they really mean is to stop fucking your sister. Anyways, I died alone as usual. This is when I realized I wasn't having fun. In fact, over the course of my playing of this game, I had zero fun at all. I always hear the complaints I get from no one because no one cares. Like, aim better, get good, use different weapons, stop shitting on the top part of the toilet and fucking your sister. Why are you in my house? You can't do that at Arby's. All the daily reminders that I suck at this game. With all that in mind, I think 100% without a doubt, I prove for everyone who has ever played this game, you cannot play Modern Warfare Warzone and have fun. Unless you did, then fuck you. If you enjoyed this video, well tough shit, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the time to make another. Doing all these big words has me like I am at Arby's without pants and hard. I mean the words are hard. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell because that's what I hear everyone else say even though if you enjoy this channel enough you'll probably just revisit it without me begging you for your love and affection. And I don't beg for that anymore ever since Dogfight decided World of Tanks was an okay game. With all that said though, I'll end this video with a quote of mine I believe will forever be a movie plot hole. I think Obi-Wan was wrong when he talked about having the high ground. That's a bullshit. Okay. Can you play? Call it any more for a war zone and have fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course the uh, answer no. is no. But how do we get to no? Yep. It's quad four. Uh, carry the one. You got the quad. Three. Oh, Minus five. five. This is hard. <laughs> it's just this just stowing trios. <laughs> Ooh. I'll take this hog. Long range log. Log. Hog. Chimnog? Yes. How about we go buy a UAP and put that overhead? I don't know yeah, if they would, like it. I don't know if that would solve a solution, save, solve, so, saliva.